All right, here comes the fun part. All right, all these switches right here, if my camera focus in on it. All those switches right there control each phase on the controller. Each uh, signal side has a phase, uh, so it's a different output for each one. These are all the vehicular signals. That's all the pedestrian signals. Uh, you push it, turn it on. Uh, you can control it by whatever auxiliary output there is right here. I got one hooked up on the side for that pedestrian signal there. If I trip one of these down, it'll activate it. So uh, it'll imitate car or pedestrian hitting the button or something. So what I'm going to do is uh, that left turn signal right there is called south turn on here. When I click that, you'll see it operate. So I can make it go green again. Now if I hold, I'm gonna hold it down a little bit longer this time so you'll see the difference of how the uh, uh, the times get extended. So I'm gonna bump it down again. It's still down, still down. All right, just released it. So that's how that works. All right, um, so now I'm going to do uh, those lights over there and the one right there on the very right uh, on the same circuit. It's called uh, east through and west through right here. So if I trip that down, that signal is going to change. At least it should. There we go. Going on its minimum cycle. So notice the pedestrian signals didn't change either, because I turned those circuits off. So something cool about that light right there—it's uh, actually from Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, I picked that up last year, uh, straight from the scrapyard that they were tossing them out at. So. Yeah, saved it from the scrapyard. Some of the natural history. Pretty cool. Um, trying to think of what else we can do cool here. I know this is one of them. This is always fun to mess with. Put all of them in the flash. So, if you're a fellow storm chaser, I'm sure you've probably seen this on the road a lot. Especially after the power flash or something. <laughs> it's always fun. Then nobody has a clue what to do in all this, those situations because everybody just stops and goes, which that's really what you're supposed to do, but everybody just stops usually. Horrible, horrible traffic jams. Uh, this one stops the time, so I can bump this to yellow. Now I'll push stop time to off. I'm sorry, on. I'm going to push it to on. <laughs> so now we've got those lights stuck in yellow. Um, so that's what that function does. It stops everything. It basically freezes the controller. So until I release that function, it all stays stuck in yellow or stuck whatever setting it's left at, whatever phase. So I turn it back on, it continues. And we'll stop it in yellow again. It's always fun. All right. I've got another function over here set up. It's a little button. I even got it set up with a sign. This button right here controls that line over there and the one right there above me. Both pedestrian signals. So I'm going to bump this button over here. And try to get that other light in the camera view. So here we go. May take a second because it's got a minimum green set up on the other one. Meaning that it has to stay green for a certain amount of time at least. Or I need to turn it on in the controller. I know it's for getting something. So if I bump those up, we'll enable that. Okay. Okay, for real this time.
And see now instead of that other, uh, instead of just the signals going green, the pedestrian signal turns as well. So countdown's not working right now. It only does it after the first time of it getting turned back on. After this run, it'll do it again. So. So yeah. Those are the traffic lights in the shop. That's how they work. Pretty cool. I'm kind of glad I got them in here. It keeps me sane, I guess. <laughs> it gives me something to mess with. So, yeah.